it's me. And today we are checking out some TikToks that are just for the girls. But he doesn't instantly pay attention to me. Oh my god, babe, look at this. Working on something important. Sorry, babe, let me see. No. Like, it was probably a TikTok. I've already scrolled past it. Closed the page. Opened up Instagram. You missed your chance. I don't even want to show you anymore. How do you expect me to find it on an ever-changing for you page? I like how it says working on something important when he's just scrolling through Twitter. Literally no one. Girls' hands be like, uh, we are so talented. You know, we've really evolved. After years of having the world's smallest pockets, we are able to hold many things in our hands. A camera? What is it called? The Apple Visor? <laughs> Vision Pro? <laughs> Completely forgot. Phone? Lip gloss and a water. Me walking past a group of guys. <laughs> Literally walking past any group of people. Going into an elevator with another person. I'm texting back all the 78 people that I know right this moment. Can't talk to you, I am so busy. Me actually getting the password wrong till my phone locks. It's not the lighting, it's you. <laughs> Oh man, I can relate to this. It's like, you look fine when the lighting is even, and then when it's like overhead lighting or just like weird different angles, I feel like every time I shoot a Darman video, the lighting is like so unflattering, or maybe I'm just ugly or both, but it's really not you, it's the lighting. And then when people see you in this lighting, they'll be like, what's wrong with you? Are you okay? You look tired. I'm tired of you. When you sit down and your pants do the thing. <laughs> No, when I was in school, this used to make me so self-conscious. Like, I would always wear jeans and they would always just, like, be there in all its girthy presence. I don't know, I would just always, like, adjust it, pull up my pants, sit differently, so it didn't look like I had a wiener. No nails are broken. Wait a second, this is actually genius. So instead of tucking your bed sheets in with your nails and risking a casualty, you just do it with a spatula. These ain't just for flipping burgers. Actually genius. I'll learn more on TikTok than I did at school. POV, you have bangs. Okay, I finally figured out why bangs don't stay in the front of your head. Some people's hair follicles want to go a certain direction. Mine wanna go So when I have bangs, I have to wear a hat or put a headband on so it holds it and presses it down in this position. Otherwise, they'd be floating around like the particles you see on the side of your eye. Also, all your favorite K-pop idols, they have a bang secret. They all get their bangs permed to go forward. Yeah, it's a thing. A lot of bangs they don't like being bangs they have so much self-hatred they do not want to cooperate and be bangs so they'd be doing like this and this and that and that you know anything but this so it's like if you try to put the bangs in the front of your face and they look like this you can get it permed and it looks like this also if your bangs naturally go forward congratulations you're god's favorite this girl found a bang hack for the bangs you want to know what i just figured out it puts them perfectly if you tap the top of your bangs, it puts them back to where they perfectly go, right? So say they get all willy-nilly in the wind and you get finally get inside, right? Just adjust it with your fingers a little bit. Give that a tap, babe. It is perfect again. It's perfect. No, I look like Justin Bieber. This ain't perfect. What is this? What have you done to me? I think this only works if they're just like cut straight across. Nobody told me this. Not a single person. I've had bangs for the past year and a half. Well, congratulations. I'm glad it works for you, but I'm going to still be here struggling because it does not work for me. When it's finally time to eat the emergency snack at the bottom of your bag. <laughs> it's been here for who knows how long, a couple months, almost two years, but it's time. I'm at the airport, I'm hungry, there's nothing to eat, pull it out. It's probably three months expired, crusty and dusty, but you have no choice. I don't care, it's still gonna hit long nail problems. This gives me so much anxiety. This is actually part of the reason why I don't do my nails super long anymore. I be getting gas. Sometimes I don't got Apple Pay, so I have to actually put the card in. And then when you take it out, it's like a whole predicament. Sometimes you have to go like this and try to pull it out, sometimes with the thumbs. And if you know, you know. It's just a struggle. And one time, I had to pay for parking, and I couldn't get it out. My sister also has long nails. She couldn't get it out. We had to trust this dude and be like, bro, can you please just take the card out? Don't steal it. I'm ready to fight. I might be not be able to pull the card out, but I can stab you. I have one of these in your eye. No, but he was nice. He, he just gave the card back. But I don't like asking for help. I don't like talking to strangers either. These are long enough to be able to like flip tortillas, flip my chicken fingers in the oven over, but also short enough to take the card out of the slot. So this is the way I be living now. 
That one friend you can't take to expensive restaurants. I finally found somebody, she worse than me. You know, I thought I was bad because I eat with my nails and my hands and like, that's why I don't like eating in front of people that I don't know that well. I like to put my legs up or sit crisscross applesauce, I eat with my hands. But like this, this is foul. But also this is how most people probably see me eating. I don't be stabbing the potatoes like that though, that's a violation. It's like those weird nail videos where they can make nails out of anything. Except this time it's actually edible. I can't believe she actually eaten those off her nails. Ugh. When you have long hair and it gets stuck in literally anything. Man, I did not know this was a problem you guys have to deal with. The doorknobs are also an op. You know, I thought it was the door handles. You know, they like grab you by the shirt. But even the knob, I thought the knobs were harmless. That's the last thing I'd be afraid of if my hair was that long. All it takes is just one person that doesn't like you just come up to you and just cut it off. Or just some random person who happened to be walking behind you on the street that has scissors. Like, what if they let the intrusive thoughts win one day? I don't know, is that a crime? Cutting somebody's hair? It's gotta be some kind of assault. I don't know. I am afraid. I saw a TikTok of some girl who was just walking and got punched in the face. And look, look at the bump. I can't even imagine how much that hurt. My friends told me I walk very fast. Look, I wasn't looking. I was looking at that fluffy hat in the window. I walked into a steel beam. It's like a metal pole, but like rectangular. It's been like two weeks and my head still hurts. Y'all need to find the dude who did this. I don't know how people get away with this. Like you're in New York City. There's like so many people everywhere at all times. Like some random dude is gonna punch some random girl. Like, you know, if something like this happens, you gotta like scream for help. So other people in the vicinity are alerted of what happened. You know, unfortunately, when I walked into the steel beam, I couldn't scream. I didn't say nothing. I waited until I got into my car. I started crying. You can't scream at a pole, but you can scream at a man. Just tied her hair into a knot. Pulled and it just comes apart. Wait a second. Let me tie my hair in a knot, see what happens. It's gonna stay because I have dry, brittle hair. Oh, wait. What? <laughs> okay. Tying a knot. I tied it pretty tight. I'm pulling. You're telling me it doesn't stay and just unravels. Unbelievable. Why you do that? It's like those Maybelline commercials. Is this what they meant by bouncy hair? Corset from the front. Corset from the side. I thought it was gonna be from the back. And you can see your back all smushed in between the lacing. But yeah, also valid. It's like it takes all the boob you have and then just puts it over. The spillage of thy breast. It do be like that. When your bestie needs to make a boy jealous. She's going to become a boy. The banana too? What are you gonna do with that? Was the banana necessary? I'm pretty sure it just fell down to our ankles. I don't know, I wish I scrolled to the end of this video before watching the process. Cause I see her and I'm just like, she's a little too pretty to be a man. How to soft launch your new boyfriend. Yeah, but you probably have him blocked, so how is he gonna see this? Yo, bro. You know, you got a little something there. Did you just Fine. put so Sharpie on Sharpie. me? There's a hole! I fixed it. The one legitimate five minute crafts hack that actually works. You got a hole in your leggings? You sharpie that bit. Nobody will know. Until you take it off and you have a massive irregular mole. When I wear an outfit that isn't athleisure or jeans. Oh God, I'm scared! Okay, I'm about to do it. I'm doing it! I'm going all the way! Shut up! You're literally being so brave. Yeah, I'll do this. Walk around my bathroom for two minutes, be uncomfortable, and then go put my leggings back on. I can never go wrong with athleisure. I already told you. The girls that get it, get it. The girls that come, don't. Well, clearly she is not me. I am not the girls who get it. Why would you flush ice cubes and then put a spoon under your pillow? Is it to stop the, the poo stink from stinking? The spoon under the pillow? Like, who do you think you are? Thumbelina? No, that's the princess and the pea. But she slept with a pea under many, many mattresses. Spoon under pillow. It's a snow day ritual. That's very wholesome. So if you're hoping for a snow day tomorrow, you flush ice cubes down the toilet and put a spoon under your pillow and then wear your pajamas inside out. Does it work? I have no idea. I live in the desert. Modern day witchcraft for the girls who get it. I was just trying to take a cute bit of my outfit. I would totally look hot pregnant. Oh, when you walk past the mirror after eating dinner and you start posing with your little food belly and give it a good rub. Yeah, about that. Um, for 
You two can oh. look like me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Girl, same. Y'all see that ponytail? Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's INH hair. <laughs> POV, you're on your period and got a cramp. <laughs> The pain the boys will never know. I got one of these today, I felt like I was gonna die. I was driving, I was on my way to get matcha. I like stumbled out of my car. That's like being downed for a minute. There's nothing you can do. Give me a moment to suffer. When you try to take aesthetic Instagram pictures. Okay, that's a lot of pictures of a shoe. Oh, she brought out the Alex Earl light. You know, I have one of these little handheld lights for taking pictures and they're honestly so good for taking pictures. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.